So what furniture do you need for your homeschool room? And how do you choose tables and chairs that are really going to help your child be successful and that are going to be the right size for your child? In this video, I want to break down everything that you need for your homeschool room. Please like the video and subscribe to the channel so that you get notified whenever a new video is released. So when you're setting up your homeschool room, the most basic supplies that you need are somewhere for your child to work, some sort of a desk or writing surface, and you're also going to need some sort of a place for them to sit. And so I want to talk about both of those things today and how you can choose choices that are going to help your child be successful and also that are going to be the right size for your child because the size of your table and your chair is really, really important in helping your child develop good habits and in supporting their body correctly as they're working. So first of all, let's talk about the writing surface. You're going to need somewhere for your child to work, and this can take several forms. So you could choose to have a desk. And desks are great because they give their kids their own individual workspace. This can especially be helpful for kids who really struggle to concentrate or kids that get easily distracted by their siblings. When you're choosing a desk, it's important to make sure that the desk that you choose is the right size for your child. So the way that you test this is you have your child sit at the desk. And when they're sitting in their chair, the height of the desk should be about one to two inches taller than their elbows. So you're going to have them sit at the chair, put their arms down at their sides, and then compare the height of the writing surface at the desk to the height of your child's elbow, and it should be about one to two inches taller. Having a desk that's the correct height will make it much easier for your child to write with good handwriting, and it will also help them to be able to write for a longer period of time without their arm getting tired. So this is really critical when you're trying to help your child not to get frustrated by homeschooling. And if your child is frustrated by writing in particular, you might check the height of their desk or their table to make sure that that's not the issue. It's also important to make sure that your desk does not have a lot of storage space or a lot of clutter on top. Those desks that have the hutch on top where you can store all sorts of items are really great from an organization standpoint, but they can be really distracting to kids when they're working. So it's best to keep the top of the desk as clutter free as possible, except for the supplies that your child needs for the assignment that they're currently working on. A lot of families prefer instead of a desk to have their kids work together at a large table. And this can be a really great solution for homeschool families as well. One of the biggest advantages to the table is that uh, when the whole family is learning together around the same table, it really promotes family togetherness and family relationships in a way that you just can't get with a desk. A large table can be really helpful for logistics too. It's much easier to supervise multiple kids as they're working together at the same table. And this can also make it more convenient to answer questions and to help multiple children at once. Tables are also great for large group projects and collaboration. It's much easier for siblings to work together on a lesson if they're sitting at the same table. And as with a desk, it's important to make sure that the table is the right height for your child. Again, the tabletop should be one to two inches taller than your child's elbow when they're sitting at their chair at the table. You might want to consider an adjustable table or an adjustable desk where the height of that can change as your child grows. Those are a really great investment that will allow you to use the surface for many years. Another great thing about homeschooling is that your child can do their work anywhere. So you might want to explore some alternate writing surfaces like a clipboard or a tray that would allow your child to lay on the floor or to lay on their bed or to work on another surface. These can be really great options, but it's important that when your child is learning to write, when they're learning handwriting, that they actually do sit at a desk or a table. That will help them to be able to have the best handwriting and to really develop that endurance that's needed for writing. So let's talk about where your child sits when they're doing their homeschool. As with writing surfaces, there are lots of options for chairs, but there are a few things to keep in mind when you're choosing one. 
So first of all, when you're choosing a chair, you want to find one that's really comfortable and supportive for your child. It's important that your child can sit in the chair for a long period of time and that they can be comfortable and that the chair also encourages your child to sit with good posture while they're working. The height of the chair is also really important. And the way that you test that is to have your child sit in the chair and look at them. And when they're sitting in the chair, your child should be able to rest their feet comfortably on the floor. So if their feet are dangling and they can't reach the floor, then that chair is too tall for your child. Also, your child's hips and knees and ankles should all be at 90 degree angles. And when you have the right size furniture with chairs, that will help make homeschooling easier for your child. Again, handwriting will be easier, good handwriting will be easier, and they'll be able to have more endurance to be able to work for a longer period of time without getting uncomfortable. So this is a really easy way to reduce some of the fights that might be happening about homeschooling just by making sure that your child has a comfortable place to work. There are also lots of other options for seating, a beanbag chair or a hammock or a tent. There are lots of really fun and creative ways that you can do homeschool and just make it fun for your child. And having some of those options can be a really great way just to add some variety and to motivate your kids to want to work. So hopefully this has been helpful. Please share what you use for chairs and tables in your homeschool in the comments.